Unless you have been living underneath a rock, I'm sure you know what Pal World is. This game has literally taken the world by storm. It's a base building, resource gathering, monster caption game. This is like Ark meets Pokemon with guns, as it's been described by the world all over. This has been developed by Pocket Pair, which is a company that's literally come out of nowhere. This ain't Nintendo, this ain't Capcom or Konami. It's a game company that literally came out of nowhere, and they made a game that launched beta on Game Pass, which you could check it out. It has over 1 million players playing online and 4 million installs on PC. And with that success, with it becoming that successful, there's a lot of controversy that's popped up, most namely accusations of them copying Pokemon designs. Now, Pokemon's been around forever. I think I was like 7th grade when it came out. It's had its own fair share of clones throughout the years. We've had Digimon. Uh, there's been a few other ones. I think there was one on PlayStation 5 that came out a couple years. That was like a old school retro style overhead Pokemon type of game. There's been a lot of monster catching clones out there. Now, the whole concept of monster catching is not new. There's been tons of games and media and cartoons throughout the years. Monster Rancher was like one of the earliest ones I could think of, but Dragon Quest is already thrown into it. And then back in the day, we had the Neopets and the Tamagotchis and all that. There's always been a concept of catching monsters from Japan, right? The whole concept of uh, yokois and whatever the hell they are, like the little demons and monsters and spirits that they have over there. It's old. It's a tale old as a time before Pokemon was even around. So let's get that out of the gate right there. But in all fairness, some of the accusations that you see from Pal World with Pokemon designs, although it's not proven, there's no hard evidence, signs do point to, yeah, there's obviously a huge amount of inspiration taken from Pokemon. But let's be real, the Pokemon company has kind of gone a little lackadaisical in recent years, and I'm kind of glad there's somebody out there challenging them, right? Let's just be honest, Scarlet and Violet dropped the ball immensely, but I'm glad that there's a company out there that's a relatively unknown company challenging them, saying, yo, what's up? We're going to make this game Pokemon with guns, yo. But here's where things start to get a little gray, and we start to talk about you know, ethical game development practices. The rumor is they're using AI to develop their characters in this game, which explains why some of the characters might be a little too close to Pokemon. Usually with AI, when you use it, it kind of, I guess, scours its database of knowledge or whatever it has, and it develops some kind of either piece of writing or image or whatever you want it to do based on what's out there. It kind of does like its own mishmash, I guess, creative process using that. If you're making a monster hunting game that's similar to Pokemon, it's more than likely going to use Pokemon designs in its development. Now, there's no 100% proof that they're even using AI right off the bat, but it is a little sus. I'll say that. That aside, I did enjoy playing the couple hours of game that I've played with Power World because I like this type of resource crafting, base building type of game in Pokemon. You can capture stuff and play this game mindlessly for hours. I played like two, three hours. Had a good amount of fun on it. Now, the reason why AI is coming into question is because it's been revealed that Pocket Pair, which is this game development studio, made a AI image art generator game, AI Imposter, or something like that, where you figure out real-time AI images. They're like made in the game. So people are kind of saying, hey, this company's gone on record to use AI before. Uh, there's a Twitter thread by somebody named Zaytree that's pointing out comments that were made by the CEO about the use of AI and how AI could be used to bypass copyright and things like that. So now people are trying to, I guess, puzzle piece things together, statements and other things with this unknown company to try to get it in a gotcha moment. Again, there's no evidence, although things are a little suspicious, there's no evidence that they did use AI. Likely, maybe. I don't see anything personally wrong with the use of AI to help you make a creative work, whether it's a book, whether it's a video game, and music. The music industry has been using AI for quite some time, guys. I'm not sure if you're aware. They've been using software and programs to help make beats and make auto-tune stuff and sound effects and stuff. AI is everywhere. And I guess what scares people with AI is that it's going to replace people. It's going to replace jobs. I could see it. Maybe for a small company, being an efficient way to have coding done, that so you're not hiring a huge staff of people that you gotta, you know, pay. 
Uh, now, when the gray area happens is when it starts to bypass copyright, when it gets too close to what Pokemon is with Pal World. Yeah, I could see where people are allegedly being like, yo, this this doesn't look right. This kind of sus. I could see that. But I think there's enough here with Pal World to where they creatively went above and beyond to change things. It's still in game preview. This game has also been out like on development for quite some time. I think in 2021 it was officially announced. They teased it. They made some announcements. So the game has been in development for at least three years. AI didn't really pick up steam until this last year. So I think in 2021 there was at least some kind of human creative process i'll give them that benefit of a doubt until i see something out there that's real damning i'm not going to come out here and say that the company is copying you know and bypassing copyright but i do not see anything wrong with the use of ai if there's like if it's helping streamline a process if there's a human development on top of that that's going back and tinkering stuff and moving things and actually in the creative process i don't see anything wrong with ai being used to help whether it's music movies tv books you name it I don't see anything wrong with it if it's being used as a good resource tool. Now, Twitter is gaining traction with this whole controversy and talking about it. I personally like the game. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, but it is definitely something that's picking up steam. And I wanted to make this video to kind of get like a conversation going about this and what your thoughts are. Again, I know it's really divisive uh, as far as like the thoughts of AI and even this game itself. I've seen people literally battling each other on Twitter over whether this game is copying or not. I would like to know what you guys think <laughs> down below. Let's let's talk about this because, again, in this age with the AI and stuff like that, I, I personally don't see anything wrong. Now, this game, I saw enough here to make me curious. Like, like okay, you know, I've played Ark. I've played Minecraft. I've played Dragon Quest Builders. I've played Dragon Quest Monsters. I've played Pokemon. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting a mishmash of ideas and making something completely brand new of it. And when it's somebody that's like a brand new independent studio, somebody that's unproven, somebody that's small, you're going to use a lot of like your resources. And one of the things that they're talking about is that they used in another game, Craftopia, pre-made assets. I don't, I don't understand why this is a controversy because I've played a lot of games on Steam and PC and even on console where... These smaller studios are using pre-made assets. That's what they're for, there for. You could literally buy bundles and, and assets and purchase them online to help code a game for buildings, for character models. There's nothing wrong with that. People might think, oh, that's just a lazy way out or that's suspect. I don't see anything wrong with that. There's so many RPG games that used RPG Maker to make like 16-bit SNES style RPG games. Whether they're fan-made versions of games or whether they're brand new. Uh, I saw that coming up on Twitter and I was like, I, I don't understand how that's a problem if they're pre-made royalty-free assets. It's not like you're going out and putting an actual like Super Mario model in your game for Pal World. And, and I don't see any instance of where they're actually using Pokemon assets in Pal World and just coloring them different. The AI, if they're using one, might be using similarities to certain Pokemon because, again, AI uses its databases and what its knowledge is to, to design and stuff like that. So when a game as popular as Pokemon for decades is out there, you're making something that's inspired by it, there's bound to be a little bit of similarities, little coincidences, things of that nature. But I'm going to lean towards the benefit of a doubt right now for Power World and say that I don't think anything malicious is being done here. And I would like to see what's going to happen with this game in the future. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video out to one person. If you share it to one person, get it on some more eyeballs. It helps grow the channel. And, uh, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.